This is KSN News 3 at 10. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Julia Thatcher. An explosion in Buckling killed three, including a child. And tonight, KSN's Zena Tahar talked to the father of the only survivor who was sharing what he says happened. Zena. Jeff, Julia, I talked to the dad of Christian Stimper. He says Christian was renovating his wife's salon. His best friend, his girlfriend, and their child came to help. His dad says they had the door shut while installing linoleum flooring. He thinks the pilot light and the fumes ignited, causing the explosion. They're now dealing with devastation, but also getting support pouring in from the community. A weekend afternoon full of prep work. The explosion happened, blew the windows out. Met with destruction that destroyed lives. There was a, a shout or maybe even a scream. He turned and seen the flames that had ignited and was coming at him. Stimbert says his son Christian escaped the burning building, realizing after he got out, his best friend, his girlfriend, and their baby were still inside. That he had said was Jerry still in there, Jerry, um, Stormy, and Robin. And uh, I mean, after he said that, Everything that they had told me after that, I could not hear. Um, I was just numb. Jerry Isaacson, his girlfriend Robin Hamilton, and their toddler Stormy all killed. Christian flown to a Wichita hospital with severe burns on his hands. Through a burn center trauma and uh, also uh, airlifting cost, it, it will be uh, a pretty good number. Added agony for Christian on top of losing his best friend, and his family. That, that family would do anything and everything for anybody. Stimpert says the community has been helping Christian farm and they boarded up that damaged building. Christian is expected to make a full recovery in the next five weeks. Funeral arrangements for Jerry, Robin, and Stormy are not yet set. Here for you, Zena Taher, KSN News 3.